on the Woodland Mill sawmill and probably some of the other uh, lower end mills, they have a hand crank for uh, raising the, the blades up and down. And it's fine for uh, like small logs and stuff, but when you're trying to go the whole distance um, for like a 30 inch log, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty rough. So on my old mill, it didn't have this uh, spring loaded mechanism, I believe behind here, it'll probably look the same. But if I pull this off, um, I should be able to just put a put a drill on the end of this. Um, let's see what's in there. Yeah, looks like I just got to drive this roll pin out, um, and then I'll have a shaft to put a drill on, and that worked out really well for my other for my other mill. So we're gonna give it a try. All right. Well, I took this punch, uh, drove the uh, pin out of that hole. Now I've got this. The handle is off. And all I have is this shaft, so I should be able to take my drill, put it on here, tighten it up. I'll use two hands to get it tighter, but um, important, you want it on the low gear, otherwise you're going to burn this uh, drill up. You may still burn the drill up, but it's this is a real way, it's not too expensive um but uh on my last mill this worked out uh, really well so the drill is attached um i guess the only problem is that when you're when you're trying to uh go up and down with it down obviously it goes down really easy up it wants to kind of torque so you know if you uh were to put a strap on here of some sort i probably will um but uh, going down and up in two hands. Power head feed for uh, Woodland Mill.